Alright, hey you guys, this is Baki Swag and I'm coming to you with my review of Seven Deadly Sins, Episode 2, Sword of the Holy Knight. And this is also my first impression. But the first thing that I want to say is that spirit throw though. Oh my god, I was not, re I was not ready. My mouth literally dropped open as I saw that part. But anyways, we're going to get back to that. So pretty much my first impression of this anime is that it is just so fucking awesome. Meliodas is a complete and utter, like he is the epitome of badasses, for real, for real. So I already know that I'm gonna, I already know I'm gonna like this show. But of course, like in the first episode, we find out about Meliodas and we find out about Elizabeth and Meliodas's pig Hawk and then Mama Hawk, who's this big green pig that literally has the bar on its back, and. Meliodas, like, he saves Elizabeth from being killed by the Holy Knights. And in this episode, this episode, it was so freaking awesome, oh my gosh. Um, they moved to a different town to find out more information about the other um, Seven Deadly Sins. And we get introduced to this character named Mead. And Mead, he's a little kid, like, in a way, in ways... He kind of reminds me of like little baby Naruto because all well, I'm not gonna say all kids are like that. But it seems like an anime all kids that don't have a family end up being like a troublemaker just to get attention and then it kind of backfires on them. But pretty much this town, they they thrive from making their ale and a knight came, a holy knight came, whose name is Gil Thunder. He is pretty fucking dope too. But Gil Thunder came to their town and tried their ale and he pretty much told them that it was horrible and Mead put a bug in his drink. So Gil Thunder thrusts his sword into the ground and cuts off all their water supply which in turn will not make them will make them not be able to make more ale which will in turn make their town pretty much be doomed. And Mead doesn't take too kindly to that. He feels like all Holy Knights are horrible. And if the Seven Deadly Sins are a threat to the Holy Knights, then that means that the Seven Deadly Sins really aren't as bad as they, as the Holy Knights make them out to be. So Mead in turn takes this and says that he has a friend who is a, who is a sin, who is a Seven Deadly Sin. And the town pretty much they're tired of hearing his lies because he's always lying so they said they were tired of hearing his lies and they were about to attack him and Meliodas saves him and he takes him to the bar and then we find out that he doesn't have a family his mom and his dad were killed by the plague years prior and then the town took him in and took care of him and even though the town as a whole was taking care of him he felt like he was really nobody's family which is why he started to act out and all this kind of stuff. And then the Holy Knights came and they were like pretty much picking on their town. And that's when he decided to say that he had a friend that was a seven deadly sin. And then we find out a little bit more about Elizabeth too. We find out about her childhood and that her dad really isn't her dad. Well, her dad who really wasn't her dad. And, <clears throat> but he still treated her like his daughter. And... It's just, it was, it was really touching. Even Mead started crying and then we go, they go back to the town and, well, Mead goes back to the town and there are two holy knights there and they pretty much said that they're going to increase their taxes tenfold if they can't pull the sword out of the ground by the end of the day. So, everybody was trying their, their damnedest to pull that sword out of the ground and even Mead jumped into the bunch and they tied ropes to it and were trying to pull it out and the Holy Knights were just being fucking assholes. They were just rolling at the fact that they could not pull the sword out of the ground. And Meliodas being the badass that he is, literally just, like, he was like, I can't, well, he took the ale from the two guys and said that if you can't appreciate a drink, then you don't need to drink it. And then he was like, well, I don't have money to cover this drink, but will this do? And he literally just, like, pulled the sword out of the ground like it was absolutely nothing. So Meliodas is pretty fucking awesome. But... After all of that, the town was cheering, and the Holy Knights ran away with the sword, and it was just, it was pretty dope. It was pretty dope. So, after all of that, they showed the Holy Knights, like, go back to 
Gil Thunder and Meliodas is like at his bar and everybody is being like drinking and being happy and Elizabeth like goes outside and she like after all the things that happened in town like the town apologized to Mead and accepted Mead back in and Mead was just so happy because that really is his family even though he doesn't have his parents anymore they are still his family so Elizabeth like encountering all of this she went to go outside because it made her think about her father and Gil Thunder Gil fucking thunder. He threw. Oh, that spear throw. That spear throw was pretty fucking dope. Oh my god. So, Gil thunder. He knew. He knew that it was probably Meliodas that was the one that pulled the sword out of the ground, or he knew that it was a seven deadly sin. So, he charged a spear and threw it. And Meliodas, before he even got to the town, like he's felt a disturbance in the air. Meliodas is so fucking awesome. He felt a disturbance in the air and went outside and he was like, no, I need to move over a little bit. But like he was listening to Elizabeth while she was talking and literally he caught the fucking spear out of the air and grounded himself enough after pretty much destroying half the town, he grounded himself enough to be able to hold on to it and threw the motherfucker back and almost got dude in the head. Like, oh my God, Meliodas. Awesome. I was not ready. I was not ready for that. The fight between Meliodas and Gil Thunder is going to be pretty fucking dope. I can already see it coming. But that spear throw, though. That spear throw, though. Oh my god. I was not ready. <laughs> but after all of that, that was pretty much like the episode in a nutshell. And I, I thought I was done with all the stupidity after the end of the episodes. But of course there's stupidity after these two and we saw them changing <laughs> Elizabeth's outfit. And you know Meliodas is a pervert because they showed a part when he like lifted up her skirt when they changed her outfit. And he's like um, probably almost in his 30s and Elizabeth is 16. So Meliodas is a, Meliodas is a pedophile. But that's neither here nor there. So, ah, oh, this, just this, this show just, <sighs> I have to contain myself. This show was so fucking awesome. Oh my god, I was not ready. So, as always, I would love to hear how you guys felt about this episode, how you feel about the show as a whole. Do you think this show will be able to keep up in the ranks with some of the more awesome shows that have come out recently? But, as always, please remember to comment, thumbs up, and subscribe. It helps me out a whole lot. And this is Subaki Swag saying adios.